There we go. Hello, hello, happy Sunday. <laughs> hey, Ma, hi, the face. Good evening. How's everyone doing? Happy Sunday. Welcome to Cooking at Home with Queen and Jay. Hello everyone. So we're about to get started. Hey Jaquetta, how you doing love? Jaquetta, your Aubrey product has my face glowing, girl. I love you for that. I love you for uh, building generational wealth. No, not starving, you quite not starving. <laughs> All right, lights on, lights camera action. <sighs> Music's jamming today. Hi everyone, how y'all doing today? Um, welcome to October, welcome to fourth quarter. Welcome to a Sunday. So, Cooking at Home with Queen and Jay, this month, October, is the month of celebrating love. So, this is Jay and our, my anniversary month. So, we got married 10, 11, 12 in New York, um, right outside um, Yankee Stadium at the courthouse there. And... So we decided to have this month just full of meals, every Sunday meals that we love, meals that we um, embrace, meals that remind us of us. So this week, our first week is seafood pasta. Why did we do seafood pasta? Well, seafood pasta is because it, we took our honeymoon two years after we got married. We were able to take our honeymoon. We thank my mommy for gifting us the honeymoon. Yeah, you got to tell everybody our okay, business. Okay, right, right, right. right. So, <laughs> we went to AC, though. Don't yes, right, that's AC. right, that's right, that's right. Right after the wedding, we went to Atlantic City and had a blast. Okay. But um, two years later, we went to St. Martin. Absolutely beautiful. We love St. Martin. Um, and it has a French side and a Dutch side, and we got to explore both sides, but we had this amazing seafood pasta there. Freshest seafood, absolutely delicious and dynamic, so that had to be the first meal for this month, which was to really start off and do seafood pasta. 
So we this tonight we're gonna have a seafood pasta featuring my marinara sauce. Um, it is also going to feature um, shrimp, scallops, lobster, uh, fresh tomatoes um, that we're gonna add to our sauce. We're gonna use some clam juice to help flavor and give your pasta sauce a little bit more depth. Of course, you have to have crostinis. Jay White loves a crostini. You have to have crusty bread. Yes. With <laughs> any Italian dish, with anything that has sauce, you have to have crusty bread. I know we talk about St. Martin, but Italian dish, but that's how it is. Yeah. And but the thing is, what? we had a beautiful seafood pasta. Yes, we did. When we were in St. Martin. Yes. It was dynamic, dynamic because we were right on the water, and y'all. And the restaurant but, had a water front seating which was yes beautiful yes you were basically in the ocean you felt like you were in the ocean in the ocean so we're gonna recreate that today as best we can yes. and we also have one of my most favorite intriguing vegetables romanesco so I love it because it looks like some mathematical equation type thing but it's in the broccoli family. So this is Romanesco. It is um, from Italy, but I bought it from Whole Foods. So, <laughs> and we also have rinds of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. But it's a really good Parmesan that we're going to use in our sauce, and we're going to use the rinds in our sauce. So, if y'all are ready, let's begin this thing. Um, what we're going to start off with first? Seafood. We're going to start with... Pasta. 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 <laughs> Alright, so let's go put some pasta on. Oh, and yes, we are gonna have chocolate croissant, so yes. Alright, so for what we're doing, I'm not gonna break our pasta. I wanna keep the pasta whole. But actually, before we do that, um, one really cool thing that I like to do with my water, I like to use my water to do uh dual purpose. So we're going to blanch the Romanesco in our water. So we're going to salt our water. I want to get a good salting in the water. And with any fresh vegetable, make sure that you rinse it. So you're going to pull back the leaves and just pop the leaves off and then we're going to rinse it. I'm going to keep this stalk on here. this right and the reason why we're gonna blanch is because I want to kind of like par cook this but also keep this beautiful green color so we're just gonna put this right in our hot water I keep the bottom part on so it's easier for me to grab either with my hands or my tongs and this is just in my salted pasta water so I'm just gonna let that go ahead and blanch And then when it take this out to stop the cooking process, because we are going to saute it with some onions and some tomatoes, you're going to dip it in ice water. Thank you. You're welcome. Forgot that part, Joe White, so. Wow. Forgot the ice for the ice water bath. Yes, two to three minutes since you are going to saute it. That's right. So you see by blanching it, you keep that beautiful color. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I take my ice bath. And it's no longer raw. It's hey, no Gia. longer raw. Hey, Gia. 
If you're just joining us, this is Romanesco, which is in your broccoli family. And we just blanched it for about two to three minutes. Kind of start the cooking process. And then we shock it with the ice water bath. And that's to go ahead and make sure it maintains its color when mm -hmm. I do the next step of my cooking. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna set this aside. And because I like, you know, it's doing double work. This is now my pasta water. I already have salt in it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar. What does the vinegar do? It just helps the, the, the pasta not bind together in my head. What about the oil? I'm gonna put some oil in no, it. No, I'm saying the oil oh, helps it not. The oil helps it not to as well, but I put vinegar in it and I think it just works better. This way I can use less oil. And I don't break up my pasta because for this dish, I want it to be long strands of pasta. So, JY's giving them me some more pasta. Yeah, because each handful is usually a serving. Each handful is usually a serving. Yeah. So this is about two servings. So I kind of do it where it does, does like that. And then as it starts to cook, you push it down. Mm -mm. And you want to mm -hmm. save this pasta water because this pasta water is going to help as be a binder for your um, for your sauce that you're creating. We eating good tonight, y'all. Yes, because it's the first night of our October for love because it is our anniversary. Let's take a little bit more because that ain't enough pasta for you. You're going to be mad. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> trying to that's save right her. exactly don't have me mad tonight don't have you yeah. mad at your uh -uh. dinner you're gonna be like where's my food mm -hmm. all right there you go <laughs> all right so we're gonna let that go we're gonna start on our seafood nice all right seafood. seafood so my eye is going to be on a medium high heat i'm gonna get my pan together for my seafood and in the bottom of this pan, I'm going to add in some butter. Just one tab of butter. Because I'm going to sear my scallops first. And then I'm going to take those out. And then I'm going to cook my shrimp and my lobster inside of my sauce. So that it gets a, a bigger depth of flavor. Would you mind passing me two paper towels? So I'm actually going to turn this on high. I have my tongs out. And what I'm doing with this paper towel is I'm drying off my scallops. So that they get start with that really good sear when they go into our pan. So, oh my goodness. So many layers to this dish. So we have some butter in our pan. Butter. Butter makes everything better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drying off our scallops. We're gonna get our everything but beef on here. I mean, everything indulgent. I keep calling it the old name. Just a little bit because we, of course, wanna season every portion of your meal. Every piece and part. <laughs> so that when you taste each part separately, mm. it tastes amazing. Yes, Lord. All right, pasta's going. I'm laughing at you sliding around the kitchen in your sack. Because I keep sliding. I forgot to put shoes on for this okay. thing. So I'm going to slide. As long as I don't end up on the floor, then we're good. Put Facts. a little bit of olive oil. Because <laughs> then I'm going to laugh at myself if I end up on the floor. So I'm going to beat that floor up if you fall on that floor. I again. appreciate you. You know it. Love right there. All right. So, have my scallops. Got a little seasoning. Got a high heat. Just going to sear off the scallops. Get a good color on the sides of my scallops. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Jay White, for checking on that pasta. You're Ain't welcome. nothing worse than overcooked pasta. That's right. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need some more pasta side. I know you're going to need some more pasta. It's okay. Y'all, I'm in charge of rationing out pasta and rice because my wife loves overcooking rice Not and overcooking. Pasta. Cooking too much. Excuse me. Cooking too <laughs> about to say, much. I don't overcook. You don't overcook. You cook rice perfect. Perfect. But um, just too much. So I have to rush. I have to stop her, y'all. Because <laughs> I love pasta. Oh, my gosh. Pasta is my comfort food. My grandma Marion, when she was alive, um, we would come home from school, and she would give us elbows pasta with butter. Elbow mm -hmm. pasta with well, margarine. That's what she would give us. Elbow <laughs> pasta with margarine was margarine. Grandma Marion's favorite dish to give us and hot dogs. And uh, my mother would be like, don't tell your grandma you hungry. Don't tell her she you hungry. <laughs> and she like, y'all want some food? We'd be like, no, Grandma. She'd be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and she'd be like, come over here and eat. And we would go in her kitchen in Co-op City, and we would have butter noodles <laughs> and hot dogs. Oh, my gracious. So... Whenever I'm feeling kind of down or anything of that nature, I know that I can have buttered noodles, buttered elbows noodles to be exact. It has to be elbows. And um, uh, um, and butter and a pot and a bowl and just, I'll be good to go. Find comfort. Find so much comfort in that. So our scallops are cooking away. Wonderful, we're happy, everything is beautiful. I'm gonna push them over to the side and I'm gonna add in my shrimp. And you're gonna take your scallops out so they don't. I truly am in a few seconds. Overcook. So they don't overcook. Cause scallops cook fast, Very fast. And if you overcook them, they will be very rubbery. Rubbery and nasty. And I'm going to, um, they're gonna have a little bit of finishing inside of the sauce, so don't worry. Don't think I'm not gonna cook them enough. So I'm actually gonna take them out now. I just want a little color on them. Mmm, they look good. Thank Smell you. Smell delicious too. Smells like the sea. The sea, <laughs> but not in a bad way. No, no. Fish no. should not smell fishy. Uh -huh. Smell beautiful like the sea. Yeah. And I want to keep these uh, little tidbits in here. Let me put my apron on because I got a white shirt on with about to make some red sauce. I have to put some boy. While Chef puts an apron on, I'm going to put some of this uh, seasoning, please. Thank you. <laughs> Everything indulgent. Help Chef out a little bit. Appreciate you. Excuse me. All right. I'm going to throw a little bit more butter in here. And then we're going to throw our garlic in here. Oh, sorry, y'all. Y'all can see my hands. <laughs> and we're going to throw our onions. Right on in here. Nice. Tell me y'all, why y'all should have been smell the vision? Uh, I keep saying it. <laughs> Get this going all around. So y'all, 10, 11. In a couple more days, we will be celebrating our eighth marriage anniversary. Marriage anniversary, yes. Why do you say marriage anniversary versus just regular anniversary? So let me tell y'all about this fight that we have, y'all. <laughs> Our great anniversary marriage wedding uh, fight. So 10, 11, 12 is when we got married. We yes. signed. On the, the, dotted, on the line. dotted line. We got our um, marriage license in New York. And one, one day, one day. Remember the story? Oh, my gosh. So... So we went up to New York, right? Because Precious Jewel fought me tooth and nail for 10, 11, 12. That's right. That's <laughs> I told right. her there was no way we could possibly plan a wedding ceremony a in wedding. six Full months. A wedding in six months. And I said, yes, we can. She said, yes, we can. I said, okay, well, how about you help my stress level? Find a venue. <laughs> Find a venue. And the venue didn't have that date available, so I kind of won that one by default. But she said, I'm still, we still have to get married. Promise me, if we get married, we go to the courthouse, get married on 10, 11, 12, we'll still have a wedding ceremony. That's I was like, right. yes, definitely. Because I wanted will. my dress, excuse me. <laughs> so, boom. We went to New York, got married. That is marriage. 
right? Uh huh. And then uh-huh. four twelve thirteen is our wedding ceremony. <laughs> That's the difference. That's the difference. That's what yes. we're doing. So my I'm wife. I'm gonna take this off the eye for a minute while I drain out this pasta, but I'm saving my pasta water, y'all. Saving yeah, I some of my pasta water. water. You don't mind. What would you like me to do? Um, scoop. Um, sure. We are saving the pasta water because I need to make some more pasta. But also because we're gonna <laughs> add it to. We're gonna add to what? We're gonna add it to your sauce. Excuse me. All right, so I removed this off the eye so while I turn my back, it doesn't burn. All right, so in here you have your shrimp, your onion, your garlic. Everything is going wonderful. Then we're gonna add in some clam juice. Depth of flavor, y'all. So we're building the flavors. This thing is a hot top. Do we? Yeah, girl. I ain't never seen such a thing. What? Do we have a bottle opener? No. I don't think we own a bottle opener because we don't drink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is comedy. Precious jewel. Team, too much. Who did this? Who did this to us? Adding more pasta so Precious Jewel can have some. <laughs> Do we really not have a bottle opener? We don't. I mean, I can pretend and look for one. That <laughs> <laughs> like one is gonna appear. It's gonna magically appear. Yeah. Okay. So I'll look. Let's see. Oh, this is comedy. We got knives. Things. Who puts this top of top on clam juice? Jeez. How do you open that? I, I, hey, Google. Don't ask Google how to open a bottle. Welcome to Hi. our home. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. I'm just going to continue. Hey, Google. Open the top of the bottle. I'm just going to continue. Open a bottle without a bottle opener. <laughs> Find a big spoon. Boom. A big, y'all. Anyway, I'm going to take my um, Parmesan. Google told you how to do that. That's cool, too. I am not. You're not gonna do it? I put half the rind in there for flavor, y'all. We're gonna try this. <laughs> oh, you wanna try it? It's at a bit. <laughs> Is anybody else hearing this craziness? Push up. <laughs> that Jay White is about to try to open a bottle with a big spoon because she asked Google how to do this. This is comedy. I don't believe Google. You don't believe? Oh, no. Chick. Hold on, I have to turn them and show them this. Do you see this? Boom! She did it! Oh, snap! Boom! All right, I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. You did it. Go, Vega. All right. So now you deglaze your plan with clam juice. <laughs> what a top, though. Uh, it flew across the room. We had to find that later. Okay. All right. Fun time. This is comedy. So I have my clam juice in here to declaze my pan. Mm -hmm. Create depth of flavor. I have half a rind of my Parmesan in there. I turn my flame down to low. And now in here I'm going to add my lobsters that I've cut in half. Is one lobster tail we cut in half. And I'm gonna let this go. Can you take the shrimp off? I surely am. Put it right in here with the scallops. Yes. Cause we don't wanna overcook the shrimp. That's why we taking the shrimp out. 
but at the same time we want to make sure that we cook your lobster so all that flavor that we built up in there give mm. us some hearts y'all if y'all wish y'all could smell this beautiful a little bit more clam juice amazement and then mm -hmm. i'm gonna take these are um cherry tomatoes multicolored cherry tomatoes that we cut in half this is going directly in there to stew look at that beautiful color y'all um the other piece of our butter is going in because every lobster needs butter butter <laughs> some butter Yes. And let me clean this up just a bit. Boom, boom, boom. Let this go around. Inside here also what I'm going to add is some fresh basil. Yes, Lord. So we just julienne some fresh basil. Everything indulgent seasoning. Of course. Because we put that on everything. On everything. Literally everything. Because it is your go to, your everyday staple. Mm hmm. Ask anyone that has purchased. And if you haven't, the link is right there pinned. Click on the link, get your spice. All right. Today. So my lobster's in there. It's cooking away beautifully. But how long do you cook the lobster, J.Y.? Oh, maybe three minutes. Three minutes. Mm -hmm. Let me reach over here to get my pot. This pot right here has Queen's marinara sauce coming soon to market. So, of course, I didn't show you how to make that because that's my secret recipe. Ow, okay. Ow. And I'm going to use this and put this actually directly in here. Because I'm creating that beautiful pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. That looks amazing. Thank you. I'm gonna, that bay leaf goes directly in there. When you get the Queen's marinara sauce in the jar, I'm telling y'all, y'all can add it to every and anything. It's a nice chunky marinara sauce. Look at that beautiful bean footage. And now right here, I'm gonna add back in my scallops. I'm gonna add into here my... Um, Can I taste it? Sure, definitely. You know that was my next statement. My scallops, I'm gonna add back into here my shrimp. First, I'm gonna taste it to make sure that, or Jay White's gonna taste it, because that's her job. Look at that bubble. I'm gonna try to burn my mouth off now. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on, let me put this down so I can pay close attention to my taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> Probably needs a little bit more balsamic and some sugar. Sugar definitely. Tastes really good. Really, really good, right? Very it definitely has that depth. That depth of flavor mm -hmm. from that parmesan. I got the garlic. Yep, that parmesan gave it a, just a different. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. I'm we making a mess. mess. Oh no, I'm making a mess. No messes. Turn my fire down to low. I'm gonna grate some more of the parmesan in here. And we gotta make the Romanesco. Mm-hmm. And at this juncture, I'm going to go ahead and add in this piece of my rind of my Parmesan, which is why I saved it. I actually get these from Whole Foods. I love the fact that they not only just give you the rind, but also give you some cheese on the top of it. So that's going in there. Turn my fire down on very, very low. While my sauce begins to thicken up. Jaquetta says she is going to the store right after this and get all of these ingredients. Yes, please. Yep. And she tried to help us too. She said if it's something like a soda cap, 
usually uh, should take a butter knife. Thank you, because uh, that was kind of comedy. And like I said, here's my clam juice. If you notice that this is starting to thicken up too much, add a little bit more. But it all depends upon how you like your pasta sauce. Pasta. We want this to coat the pasta. That's right. And my lobsters are pretty much done, so I'm going to flip them meat side up. So just my shells are in there. Adding back in scallop and shrimp. Yeah. Can you grab me another frying pan? Oh. Put that over there. The reminiscence. I'm going to get another frying pan. Mm -hmm. Look at that beautiful bean footage, y'all. Does this is work? That works perfectly. So, and I'm going to leave my bay leaves in there. And my lid is right here. Put this on and let this go while I am going to be sauteing up the Romanesco. So I'm going to let this go. Flame is on low because I don't want to scorch this. Who's doing dishes tonight? You. Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. He's going to do dishes. <laughs> He's going to be like, I'm not doing no dishes. Exactly. Not about that life. All right, let's talk. Sauteing up. So in here, I'm gonna add in a little bit of our olive oil. Just, it's a very simple, there it goes. This is for your vegetables. Everything but beef goes into the olive oil so that it can start to awaken the spice. Jaquetta also said she put that, uh, everything in Dutch now. Everything. Everything. And I'm going to put my onions in first. So I have slithers of onions. This is where we're going to saute up our Romanesco. making today is seafood pasta. Um, this month, October, we're celebrating our anniversary. Eight years of marriage. That's right. There you got go. it. Uh -huh. Eight years of marriage. Mm -hmm. And so this first dish for this month is seafood pasta because that's where we spent our anniversary was in St. Martin. And we had a wonderful seafood pasta dish um, that this reminds us of. So we have shrimp, scallops, lobster, Thank you. Oh, precious Joe, don't forget. Yes. So St. Martin has two different sides. It That's has right. a French side and, a, and Dutch a Dutch side. And they are very much different. Very different. <laughs> um, Night and day different, Yes. <laughs> you go to the French side, they are... You must know French. Yes. <laughs> to go to the French you side. You have to know Because... French. Okay, wait, I'll tell y'all a funny story. Tell them. So the first time... <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Funny story now. So the first stuff. time we ever went to St. Martin, my mother took all kids. It's a brave woman. Not me. This is before. Yeah, this is before I met Jack. So she took all the kids to St. Martin. Comedy. Do you hear me? Comedy. From the Bronx. Bronx kids. St. Martin. We're trying to live it up. St. Martin. And we needed milk. Because we had a timeshare. So we needed milk. So we like, we smart. We know Spanish. So all I did was just put our romasco in there. You see that like, beautiful color stayed? Mm -hmm. Everything but beef goes on top. We blanched in about, about three, minutes. three minutes. Sorry, I know I started the story and then didn't finish it, ready? So, at the, um, um, at the supermarket, because we're going to get food in our refrigerator for the time chair. Hope y'all can hear me over there, there you go. Food in the refrigerator for the time share, right? Are you listening, Jay White? I don't think Jay White. Am I yes. Are you listening? Okay. Girl, I know the story. <laughs> <laughs> so food in the refrigerator for the time share. <laughs> we go into the supermarket and we're like, we need milk. So we're like, leche is milk. We know milk, we know Spanish, leche. So we're like, we're gonna look all over the supermarket for leche. It dawns on us 
that we don't know French. So we can know Spanish all we want to, but we don't know French. So we're like leche, donde leche, to the people in the supermarket. And they're like, no, we don't understand. And then we're like, they're like, English, American? We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're looking and they go, le, le. And we're like, yeah, leche. And they're like, no, le. And we're like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the funny kicker, y'all. We also know Arabic. So le or no, we're trying, we're like, no, we don't want no, we want milk. Come to find out, that's how they, that's their brand of milk that they had there. We look like a bunch of yutzes, y'all, inside the supermarket in the French side of St. Martin with my mother and all six of the kids trying to get milk. Comedy. So anyway, know some language. Know your language or get your Google Translator or your iPhone Translator when you go to St. Martin, all right? So anyway, Jay White laughs at me every time I tell that story because... It is so my family. Like, we're like, we can make it work. We just gonna read. And we're gonna figure it out. And we're gonna talk to everybody because somebody is gonna be able to help us. So anyway, that's my funny story. <laughs> so as you see, we just saute it up, giving it a little color, giving it a little seasoning. I think you were. I, thought, I was excited. I kind of feel like it. So, um, when we went to the French side, y'all. Yes. What do we have? <laughs> you got to get me back on track. Because I'm, yes. right I'm cooking. I'm in the islands. I'm just Listen, chilling. so we went to the French side, and um, we stopped by this pastry shop. Oh, my God. And they were like chocolate croissants. We saw some. Um, so, we went in. It was the most amazing pastries that I have ever had in my life. <laughs> the chocolate croissant was, oh my God, Dynamic. like it just melted in your mouth. It wasn't too sweet. The it, chocolate tasted like chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it tasted like chocolate. Oh my gosh. It was just amazing, y'all. So, I've been chasing it. What I'm adding in here is just fresh tomatoes. And I know that the lid that I have is smaller than the pan, and that's okay. All I'm trying to do is just get a little bit of steam on it. So, it was actually kind of intentional. Can you but go ahead. Um, throw a little garlic parsley on that? I'm not done with it, babe. Of course I can. So, listen. Yeah, so it was the best, um, the most amazing uh, pastry I've ever had. Also, while we were there, and I think that was the last time we went on the French side. We went on the French side once because legit, you need to know French. Uh, so we went on the Dutch side, which is more, it's, it's more friendly. More user friendly. Yeah. You, <laughs> yes. The people are dynamic. People are dynamic. It was the. That's why we uh, had conk fritters. I can remember we went to the club while we were there and it was really cool. Uh, everybody was friendly. Everybody was dancing. But what I remember they most, friendly. they were gay friendly. What I remember most is seeing a flyer though. And Usher was going to be, Usher or, or Lil John? which one was it? What? was going to be there like two days after we left and I was yes. like ah just felt some sort of way about life yes look at this Jay White ooh ooh yeah ooh that looks amazing ooh. let me let the people see mm. <laughs> look, look at, at that. that beautiful bean yes. footage yes I'm gonna turn that off yeah please turn that off it's done that looks amazing Cheryl. thank you Alright, so where's my plate so we can plate this thing up? 6.43, dinner is ready. So you tell them all of that because we have these croissants in the back. Yes, we have chocolate croissants just because it, you know, it just gives us that nostalgia of when we went to St. Martin. Oh, girl, But, um, so we got some chocolate croissants that don't even match up to that. But we got chocolate croissants. Yes. <laughs> it's adding a little bit of water in here to create some steam. We're going to have a dinner tonight dinner. and just enjoy each other and just reminisce Yay. about sitting on the water. Oh, and then let me tell y'all a cool thing about St. Martin. They have not lobsters, but they have langoustines. Yes, which and is a lobster. Look, yeah, it's a lobster, but they don't have claws. And if you look at it, it looks real freaky. 
<laughs> but uh, but the meat was beautiful. The meat was beautiful, and it you can they will um at one of the private beach that we went to, um they serve you this lobster. They come out, put a table in the ocean because the water is so shallow. Like you can walk out to the middle of the ocean and and still be standing, like waist deep in water. It's very shallow. Um, but they put a ta they put a table in the middle of the ocean and then they bring your langoustine out and it's beautiful amazing melting your mouth just absolutely dynamic <sighs> so you ready to move over to the section of the world let's go sure take uh, this Time. So we're gonna do this family style because that's how we're actually going to eat tonight. So we like kind of like setting out our plates but putting everything really in one. So for your Romanesco, because it's such a beautiful design, all you want to do, you know what? I forgot something. Because this is in the broccoli family, I splash it with vinegar because it takes some of that. You gotta take the other plate off too. <laughs> you gotta take the other plate off. You just splash a little bit of apple cider vinegar on it. Takes away some of the smell. Some of the smell. My gracious. Broccoli is a funky vegetable. And that apple cider vinegar or vinegar period will take some of that smell off of it. Now, take two. Plating. Here we go. Hi, Kim. Kim is watching. I Hi, hope Kim. you are recovering well, resting well. Make sure you are resting, Kimberly. Secret Baker is Kimberly. Kimberly is the secret baker. Is the secret baker. <laughs> it's not a secret yeah. anymore. She's the secret baker. Yes, and she is one of our vendor friends. Yes. Has amazing cakes and cookies and pies. She's at Perkins Orchard every Saturday. All right, so beautiful blistered tomatoes, beautiful color, y'all, because we eat with our eyes, don't forget. That's right. You got your charred onions in here. I love onions, y'all. My wife doesn't love them that I, I as like much them. as I do. She I, I, like them. I like them. So she she puts up with me and she cooks them. Yes. And I eat all of them. All of them. <laughs> all of them. Uh, Romanesco. So yes. So that is your Romanesco. Next, let's talk pasta. Let me show the people. Y'all see? Yes. Good stuff. In the broccoli family. My wife loves how it looks. She said it looks like a math problem. It's a it's a shape in uh geog geography, uh geometry. Geometry. Alright, so this is how we're gonna plate this. We're gonna kinda plate this linear. Alright? So I take my tongs and I use it to roll. Lift up, roll. On my plate, I kind of roll. Release it just a little bit. And now it's linear. Period. Take our sauce, ladle it right over top, scallops are playing. So you got your scallops, big old piece of Parmesan, come out of there. 
See this beautiful sauce, y'all? Yes, I do. We eating good tonight, y'all. Do not Sorry, put the bay leaf on your plate because you do not eat the bay leaf. Got a shrimp on there. You have your scallops. Hey, the scallops are playing. Then I'm going to take my lobster, tilt it over to the side. Bare face said that looks amazing. Well, thank you, Mom. And Kimberly said she is resting up. Good, 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 good. good. <laughs> but now she wants seafood and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Then of course I have to get my napkins because can't have a messy plate, y'all. That's that's look at that, y'all. We will have a problem if we have a messy plate. Look at that goodness. Seafood, seafood. I just feel like picking up one of those shrimp right now. It's like just looking at. Go me. ahead and take it. It's your anniversary. <laughs> We eating good this whole month, y'all. We're eating everything that we love this whole month. Not that we don't love everything else, but definitely everything that we love. So you have your fresh Parmesan right on top. Parmigiano-Reggiano right on top. Your fresh basil. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. Yummy. <laughs> so, chocolate croissants. We got those from Whole Foods. It's not a secret. It's not a secret. They have you a take and bake, Foods. take and bake section. Freezer can, section. Yep, you can get them yourself. Bake them right at home. I'm gonna tear those up tonight. Seafood pasta. Go chef, go, that looks amazing. <laughs> Can y'all tell how much I miss personal chef experiences where I'm able to create such beautiful things for you right in your home? Mm, mm, mm. Y'all mess up my plating. You keep spinning it like that. Mm -mm. Romanesco. Let the people see. Show the people the news. Crunchy bread. Crunchy, Christine's. Whole Foods also as well. And there y'all have it. Yes, yes, yes. It's beautiful, y'all. Listen, thank mm, y'all so mm, much. Mm, mm. Thank y'all so much for joining us. So, we thank y'all for joining us. Let me give a dope shout out for the shirt once again. So, the shirt is by Designs by Morgan. Hopefully I got no sauces on my shirt, on my hands. <laughs> Dope shirt. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, thank y'all very much for joining us. Please, a couple of things. Nominate us for WREO. View, uh, view, blah, 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 blah. Viewers' Choice Awards. Last year, we was a runner-up. We appreciate y'all. This year, we want to take it home. But in order to do that, we have to get on the ballot. So nominate us. The link is also in our bio on our page. Purchase your spices. We pinned that link to here. And we're still taking donations for our Elevate Your Palette um, campaign on iFund Women. I thank y'all for joining us. This is week one, day one of our month of love, October. Come on this side. Come on this side. Jay White, come on this side. <laughs> so you can say thank you. My very, 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 very attractive wife. So we thank y'all for joining us yes, on this yes, wonderful yes. journey of Indulge Catering this evening. Um, cooking, I am cooking at home with Queen and Jay. Jay. Yes. <laughs> so we thank y'all. This whole month we're going to be filled with love, filled with mm -hmm. awesomeness, meals. Um, awesome meals. And we're going to eat good tonight. We're going to eat good tonight. Every Sunday we're going to eat good. Well, every day, but definitely every Sunday. Yes. Um, but we thank y'all. We love y'all. We thank y'all for y'all support. And yes. we will check y'all next week. Next week. Come see us next Sunday, right? So we can talk about some more love stories. But next Sunday is our actual anniversary. 
That's right. So we're gonna say a lot more. Yes. Authors. It's gonna be big, real big, 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 big